from Canada, ranked number 33 yeah. on the Pro Billiards Tour. We'll have the opening break. Well, Paul Potier so far has performed well in the event. Uh, then again, you know, we're going to have to see what happens with the lights and cameras. I know he's not used to this. Uh, he may come out, you know, just blasting everything in, or he may, you know, be a little concerned about the cameras, the crowd, everything else. It's a new uh, environment for him. So, you know, we're going to have to see exactly what happens. A race to 11. They do play with a clock. He makes a couple of balls off his first break, so that is a good start for Paul Potier. Yeah, he's got a... Very nice opportunity. He made uh, one or two balls on the table. You see the two ball. He's got a nice shot at the two ball. Of course, the four is on the other side of the table. Okay, now he elected to follow the cue ball. A little bit of high right-hand English. Now he's got, again, a little tricky shot. Four on the side, or he could play it in the corner. He looks like he's playing kind of fast, though. He made a nice shot there. Hit that a little bit harder than he would like. He was trying to play the five in the pocket. And it looks like he's got it straight in the side, so. Okay, he's made a nice shot there. Now that's a, well, he started out pretty nice. Of course, he's got a tough shot on the six. He's got to play the six. He's got to draw the cue ball back for the seven. But it's not that easy. He has to go back and forth. Okay, he made a nice shot there. See, he couldn't play the seven in the opposite pocket. He had to make sure he goes back and forth across the table. And now, I don't know, he's either got a possibility of a bank or he's going to try and cut it in. Okay, he's playing a bank safe, and he's executed that perfectly. He didn't want to take any chances. He really tucked that cue ball yeah. behind the eight. Well, that's what we call a two-way shot. If he'd have made the seven, then he would have had a nice shot at the eight. And if he misses the seven, then your opponent's safe. So that's the kind of shot I like to shoot. This man was the captain of Team Philippines that won the World Team Billiards Championship. And look at this. Whoa. Okay, now Ephraim just, you know, the Philippine players, I have to admit, they kick incredibly well, meaning when they hit the cue ball into a cushion to hit the lowest uh, numbered bowl, they do that better than anybody I've ever seen. And that wins a lot of games. Family. He's left Paul a very tough shot. And he overcut it just a bit. Yeah. I think, you know, Paul's got a little bit of the opening game jitters. He actually, that wasn't a bad shot. He had a pretty tough shot. It's better to always overcut the ball than undercut it. At least he left Ephraim a very difficult shot. Reyes is ranked number 13 on the Pro Billiards Tour. I guess we should say a well-traveled <laughs> Ephraim Reyes because he does cover a lot of the world playing pocket billiards, and he's missed his first two shots. Yeah, he sure has. I think both players are a little jittery. You see, he plays a seven again. Now, going back to the other shot, that Paul Potier shot, he overcut the ball. And normally when you overcut the ball, you don't leave your opponent a shot. So Paul Potier now must kick at the seven, meaning hitting the rail first. And he's finally, wait a minute. Oh, he's finally left Ephraim a legitimate shot to run the table. He's got the seven. He can either draw the cue ball back for the eight. You see the eight, the black ball is in the left portion of the screen. And Reyes has had a couple of earlier chances and finally pockets a ball. That's a good start. Yeah. You have to start somewhere, huh? Yeah, you got to start somewhere. Well, you know, both players. Ephraim is really not well known for his appearances on TV. He's a phenomenal player, but so far he really hasn't played his best matches under the cameras. He has and only the nine ball to take game one of this race to 11. The first player to win 11 racks. And the first rack goes to Ephraim Reyes. He has the lead here in Las Vegas. More to come. Stay with us back on ESPN. Welcome back to the 1993 World Nine Ball Championship. It's from Las Vegas and it's sanctioned by the Pro Billiards Tour. And we feature a couple of members of the Pro Billiards Tour, Paul Potier and Efren Reyes. Reyes taking game one of this semifinal. Let's see how he handles the break for game two. Both players are a little nervous maybe in game one. Yeah, I think so. I think, uh... Well, it's understandably for Paul Potier. He's really never been in this position, but Ephraim has. And, you know, both players are just trying to trying to get loose, pocket a few balls, and then, uh, you know, see what happens from there. Made the six, I think, on the break. Now, Ephraim broke. Now, I don't believe he has a shot. You can see the one ball, the yellow ball, is right out in the center of the table. He's laughing. Somebody's laughing at something over there. I'm sure it's not their shooting ability. Well, having seen Reyes a little bit in the world team competition, he plays very loose, very relaxed. And he knows what to do. Like on this shot, you see he doesn't have a shot. He's going to elect to play a safety, which he hit absolutely perfect. Look at the cue ball. Froze behind the eight, and look where the one is. I mean, 
You couldn't hit that any better if you tried. That's, again, going back to the Philippines play tremendous safeties, and their kicking ability is, is great. And how about Patier coming from Canada as he does make contact with the one... And look at this. Boy, it turned out this. very well. Well, of course, now, Paul Padier really, you know, his, his main game is snooker. You see the one, the yellow ball is up table. He left Ephraim in a very, very tough situation. And in snooker, there's a lot of safety play, probably 50-50, where nine balls maybe 90-10. So the safety part of the game, I think uh, Paul Padier is, can hold his own in that. So Again, look what Ephraim has done here. They're trading safeties <laughs> right now. That was an excellent shot, because if it goes, it's a break for him. If it doesn't, he doesn't leave his opponent anything. Exactly right. Now, Paul Padier is actually going to jump over the two. And, and he, our umpire was and look in the at way, this. but he makes <laughs> one of the, it. One of the best shots of the tournament. And he, all we saw was hair there. Paul Padier jumping it and making the ball. He has a little bit of television experience in that he played for Team Canada. Exactly right, yeah. And they beat the American team. The American team never, really never qualified. Uh, we're going to have to see what happens. Again, now, Paul Padier has had opportunity. He's got a, a legitimate good run out in this situation. If he can do so, you know, we'll have to see, see what happens. But he does have a legitimate shot to run out this rack. Played a nice shot on the three. Okay, he's got just about, he's got a little funny angle on the four. He's going to play the four on the side. Stay right there for the five. Oh, oh. boy, I can't believe he did that. He missed it badly. I think, you know, I'll tell you what, anytime a guy misses a ball like that, I think what happened, he just took his eye off the ball, which is very common. A lot of times you have an easy shot, you don't even look at it. And I think uh, he may be in a position now where he doesn't really understand what's going on. He didn't even get a corner of that side no. pocket. And, well, of course, you know, that's understandable. I remember when I first started playing on television, it's a whole different atmosphere, the lights and everything else. And it's like playing in a tournament, and all of a sudden you're playing in all different conditions. And it does affect how you play. Reyes took game one. He's working on the second rack here. As the seven ball and then the eight. This is pretty nice for Ephraim when a guy opens a door and leaves a guy, you know, opportunities. He's left, Paul has left Ephraim two games where he's had legitimate shots. You're going to see he's going to play the eight, slide the cue ball with right hand English. Absolutely perfect. Just hit that a little below center and look at the speed of the shot. All he has to Absolutely do is perfect. nudge it down the rail. And Reyes has taken the first two games of this semifinal. The winner to play the defending champion, Johnny Archer. But Efren Reyes has a 2-0 lead over Paul Patier of Canada. And he will have the break for game three. Let's go back to the miss. This I can't really believe. Paul Patier looks like he just can't believe. I think he was just trying to hit the ball with a little bit of English and what we call throw the ball in instead of trying to cut it to hold the angle for the five. And I believe that's, that's what happened in that shot. It gave Reyes the opportunity that he needed. He stepped in. Took game two. He has taken the first two games, even though Patia had better chances in game one, obviously. He had that yeah. game in control. In and, game also two. In, yeah, and also in game two. Well, we're going to see what happens. Now, Ephraim is making the corner ball in the break. And does he leave and himself he another ball. in good shape for the one or not? Mm, well, he, he can hit the one. No, he can't hit the one. The one's right in front of the hole. It looks like he's probably going to play rail first. And you see the two of the blue balls out in the center of the table. So if he makes it, he probably should have a shot at the two. And he's... He's made the one. He hit that absolutely perfect. And he wound up with a, a mediocre shot on the two. He's going to play the two in the upper right-hand corner pocket and just follow the cue ball to the left. And he made a great shot. Well done. The balls are laying in a, in a good position. Now he's got a nice shot on the three. The four and six are in the same area. And the eight and nine are also in the same area. You know, Reyes may not have appeared on television as much as some of the players from the United States, but the other players on the tour know about Efren Reyes. <laughs> they sure do. I mean, arguably, they say he's the greatest all-around player that ever lived. He plays nine ball, straight pool, one pocket. He plays three cushion billiards. Now, here's a situation where you'll see he's going to play the six, hit it a little bit of low left English, and go two rails with the cue ball. Okay, one, two rails come out. He hit that a little softer. Many times the speed of the shot is important. Now, can he clear the nine ball? I guess he, so. He can play the eight in the corner pocket, but he would like to have a little easier shot. This is a kind of this is the kind of shot you could miss, but not for Ephraim. Off he actually, the rail and in good yeah, shape for the nine. He hit that perfect. He actually killed the cue ball or hit it where the cue ball didn't get away from the nine and go way up table. And he takes a 3-0 lead. A quick start for Ephraim Reyes from the Philippines. He leads Paul Patier of Canada.
Welcome back to Las Vegas. We're at 